Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at Plex and I'm going to take a look at how you can work with the metadata that's built into Plex. Now as I showed in a previous screencast, I showed you how Plex, when you add libraries, will go out and pull down all of this metadata for you. And we talked about how important it is to make sure that your files are named correctly so that that data can be pulled in a way that Plex can understand it and actually get all of this information in here. But there are times where maybe there are some errors in its ability to find what's going on. And you can see here I've got a couple of movies where I didn't get the artwork and everything set up. I got some of the information in there, but it didn't uh, completely everything. So let's go ahead and take a look at these movies and see if we can fix what's going on here. So if I just go into this movie here and you can see it didn't pull up the information. Um, so what we can do in order to fix that is if I go into either edit, I can come into the edit area here and edit all of this information in here. So I can, I can edit the title, I can edit uh, the sort title, the original title, when uh, the movie was available, when it came out, I can edit the rating, the content, uh, rating, uh, studio, tagline, summary, I can put all that info in there. I can edit tags like directors and country and genres and writers and such. Uh, I can also do some work with uh, labels. Uh, the poster art, I can go ahead and add poster art in here. I could choose an image if I wanted to and if I just click on that it's going to take me to a window here that lets me choose a specific image to add in here. I can drag and drop it in or I could even enter a URL if I wanted to and then it would pull up artwork on there. Uh, the other thing I can do is the background image. I can do the same thing with that. Choose, drag and drop or enter a URL. This just took a clip from the movie and put it on there for me. And then I've got info on where this movie is located and all the information that's on it. So I can do that editing in here and save changes. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. In this case, I didn't get a match. So I want to come in here and I would come down here and click on match. And so what it's going to do is it's going to go and try to match this particular movie's name with information it has on the internet for the movie. So we're going to let this run here while it's trying to do its auto match. Now, if you look here on this little auto match area, and you can see now it's given me all these various movies that it's found. You can see some are pretty far off, but some are, you know, pretty close here. You can see I got X-Men First Class here. That's 99%. Uh, this is X-Men First Class Rejects, which probably obviously is not the right one. But I could click on here and have that metadata filled in. Or if I wanted to on this auto match, I could match from these different locations. I could match it from my personal media, from the movie database, or from Freebase, okay, which is another uh, database. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and match it with what I know it is, and that's X-Men First Class. So we're going to just go ahead and put that on there. And now it's going to start downloading the metadata, as you can see down there. And it will start to update things. And what I need to do is just kind of come back. It says it's finished. And look, now it's loaded everything in here, and it's got it correct now, including the extras and everything else that I need for this particular movie. So let's go back again. Let me just go back one more. And you can see now it's changed this, so this is correct. Uh, let's go ahead and fix this one now. And I just want to show you another way that you could fix the metadata just in case it doesn't work. So let's just come in here. And so on this one here, we've got, uh, again, Napoleon Dynamite. We want to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come in here. And you can see I've got this uh, either unmatch or fix an incorrect match. Okay, I'm going to click on this fix incorrect match. And it's going to do this again. But this time what I'm going to do is go to the search options. Now in here, I can put in information on how I want to search for this. And you can see that the name up here is what caused me the problem because it left that little extra information on there. So let's go ahead and let this run and see if it can match it. If not, what we need to do is go in and change that file name and then everything will be okay. And again, I can choose the agent that I want to use, the movie database or Freebase or whatever. So let's go ahead and say with Freebase, let's just do that and say search. And let's see if we get what we need for Napoleon Dynamite. So it's going to go ahead and do its search and go out and pull the information down. And there it is. So by doing that search, it did pull up what I need. So all I've got to do is click on that. And now it's going to finish processing all of this. And it's going to download the information for me. And then it'll change it so that that information will be reflected on here. In fact, we may need to just go out first. And then we can come back in and see. And no, you see how it didn't change the cover art. It didn't really get everything the way we wanted it there. And you can see down here... Um, we've already done that, so it didn't work. So what I'm going to do instead is let's go to uh, a Finder window here. Let's go ahead and pull up the Finder. And we're going to go into this movie here, and we're going to change 
the actual title of this movie. And we're just going to take that off right there and just leave it as Napoleon Dynamite. Okay, just like that without the extra info on there. Let's go back in here and we're going to rescan. You can see it's already starting to scan and download the metadata because of what we set up there. And let's see if it actually added it. Doesn't look like it did. So we'll go back in. And like I said, you may have to do this a couple of times to get this to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, let's do an unmatch. So it'll unmatch the information there. Okay, and now we're going to come in here and do a rematch. And so it's going to go and look for the information again. We're going to hit this button and let it download the metadata and hopefully load that in there. And there it is. Now it's matched everything and we're set and ready to go with our Napoleon Dynamite. And if we come right back here, you can see that we've got that information correct. Now another thing you can do in editing this, uh, let me just show you. If I just come in here and I click the Edit Pencil, when it downloads this stuff, sometimes it downloads more information like this. I can come in and change the poster. So if I don't like the poster I've got, maybe I want the actual movie poster, I can click on this and change that. I can also change the background images as well. You see it gives me all these other background images since it did that update. And let's say I like this one right here where they're all kind of sitting on the couch. So I'm going to save those changes and what you'll see is all of this changes over to what I want it to be. So there are a lot of different ways uh, or a few different ways that you can edit your metadata here inside Plex. And so then if I go back you can see now that change has taken place. Now if you go into uh, home here, if we go into our libraries, you can do a similar thing in uh, TV shows, similar thing with music. Again, if I go into the music area here and click edit, I can edit the information for this particular uh, artwork as well. You can see I don't have a background, but I can change the poster. Again, they're identical. But I could do that for the artwork and things that I've got for music, for TV shows, and everything else as well. So I just wanted to show you how to do that because there are times when you do your initial scan that something doesn't go right. And so usually by going in and playing with the search features and editing the metadata and or editing the file that is in Finder, uh, between all of that, Plex does a pretty good job of catching up and then downloading the right artwork. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.